Hello everybody, my name is Isaac Gutierrez and I'm the Bard of Barter Clogs. And for once, I will not be your DM today! And that honor is held by the big ol' pickle. Well I, Isaac, am the player. I shall be playing Not, and next to me shall be Griff playing Old Joe. And together we three welcome you to Ascension Part 2. I cast Purify Food and Drink on the person and I'm going she cast it at you, Joe. And so it's a DC 16. Wisdom say that's <laughs> easy as hell for old Joe. Old Joe will probably just walk away. <laughs> Don't say that. Now I'm going to get a nat 1 on my roll. You better not, you bitch. I'll slap you. <laughs> that's a 17. Oh. Oh, 17, okay. I thought you had, like, plus getting... 8 on your wisdom save. Or am I forgetting something? Oh, hold on a second. That wisdom save, that's just my pure wisdom modifier. Yeah, not my you wisdom have, like, 20 score. with the save, don't you? Yeah, 20, 30, 20 with, the, with my wisdom saving throw. The figure gives a great sigh. At this failed attempt. As we just keep Actively walking. Actively walking past her, flipping her the bird. Yeah. He goes, I... Mind your business yeah. amongst the powerful. And we walk away. <laughs> I really, really didn't want this to be this way. After all, you two are fucking up my plans. But you leave me no choice. We're gonna and have to kill this bitch. pulls Jesus. out a silver whistle and lets out a shrill, piercing whistle into the air. And you guys see several rather strange looking apparitions appear. You're welcome to do an arcana check to see if you know what they are, but sure. otherwise we can keep going. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Uh, 14? Yeah, that beats mine. 14, you get the sense that it's some kind of ritual that um, leads to like oh gosh, how do I say this? Cool. Not also <laughs> uses prestidigitation to whistle between his fingers calling for the guards. <laughs> As lords. <laughs> and he puts out a psychic call to everyone nearby just being like <sighs> Alright, your lords being attacked! <laughs> all right um can you put that uh in the chat so i can see the spell and all that yes 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 let me grab prestidigitation for you uh is it prestidigitation or actually wait this is a legitimate question is it prestidigitation or is it the other spell that does that's thaumaturgy right uh i'm pretty sure prestidigitation can also do it it's like nice. a wind in the air or something. Like a small or symbol pure, non magically. No sound. No sound. I think it's Thaumaturgy is the only one that the sound, actually. I will. Here, let me put it in the chat. You guys can have your own interpretations. This is your guy, uh, her campaign. But as far as I can tell, it looks like just no sound. Which is. Is it not weird to have a difference that one spell does sound and the other does everything else? No, it does. It, it It's a sensory effect, which includes faint musical notes or an odor. I mean, yeah, musical it, notes, faint the musical notes, that di that's different than outright screaming. Like, Thaumaturgy's whole thing is specifically making my voice louder. Yeah, in this case, you'll just be mimicking a whistle. It's not going to be as loud as what Thaumaturgy would be. At least that's my interpretation of it. See, now that's valid, though, but it, that's the issue. It's not loud, and that's what we need is loud. I mean, Paul uh, Joe can probably just grunt very loudly to get the cards running. Fair enough. Then I'll just press the digitation a whistle myself, and um, we'll have I'll, I'll nudge old Joe to yell for the guards since I can't talk, no mouth. All right. Um. So while you guys are doing that, um, I will let you do a performance check to see if it works. But uh, in the meantime where you guys are at in the courtyard, because you guys were kind of most of the way through before you um, were came across this woman and the servant she was speaking to. And 
you guys uh, find yourselves surrounded by several other cloaked figures and a couple of strange looking beasts as they emerge from these shimmering rituals, whatever they are, into the courtyard. Perfect. So instead of screaming, uh, Ojo's going to just cast Thunder Wave. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, that would get... You know what? If a fight breaks out in your castle, I think every guard finds out. You're right. We should just do loud fights. Is, you can do that in your initiative order now. Okay. Um, Let's roll in. Do you want us to roll initiative? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a, a dirty 20. Nice. And a performance check of 24. 24, okay. Alright. Let me go ahead and do my rolls. I'm trying to get set up. Sorry. Oh, God. Our first order of lords are already having to kill some bitch who can't mind her place. Am I right? Am I right, Griffin? Yeah. Yeah, 100%, dude. But it's alright, because I think Pickle's forgotten about what subclass I took as a druid. So anybody oh, who dies yeah. near me, it's just going to make me more immortal. Oh, mm. shit. Okay. What is then... my... Let me see. Oh, that's right. See, so, that, so that's a whistle. So it's probably a concentration check, huh, Griff? So if she was, say, laughing, she'd probably fail the concentration check and dismiss all her followers, huh? Probably. Yeah. Probably. We'll, we'll see you as soon as okay. uh, Thunder Peak goes. True, true. We have a few things, like Dissonant Whisper, Sasha City's Laughter, Phantasmal Force. A few things. And Oldra, what was your initiative again? You said it was a... Uh, it's only a 12. Okay. 12. Alright. I mean, I've also got hallucinatory terrain. Mm. I have black tentacles. I could always just cast that. There's a few things we could handle this. A few ways. How dare that panther fuck have one more than I do? I'll bite it. <laughs> I'll grow a mouth really? just to bite it. Out of spite. I'm going to do one more thing to... Sorry. Okay. Do, 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 I think the first thing I need to do is cast Dominate Beast. Turn the biggest threat against them. That only works on one at a time, doesn't it? Wouldn't it the best idea to be get her to to not be able to focus on the spell that summoning them? True. Because mm. technically there's multiple targets being summoned by this. Or we could take the whistle and we whistle it. Or we can just conjure minor elementals. Shit, you you right, you right. <laughs> Mm. Okay, here we go. Comment music. That's what I was looking for. All right. So, round one. The beasts are going to all go on one turn, followed by the other cloaked figures, followed by the leader, uh, in terms of, like, how the enemies go and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. They are going to... Let me double check their shit. Uh, by the way, is that whistle at least a bonus action on my turn? Mm. Or is it really going to take the entire action for me to just make a sound when normally we get seven words? <laughs> I'll be gracious. I'll let it be a bonus action thing. Yay! Um, yeah. Alright, but they're going to all kind of Swarm you guys. Two are gonna go for you, not two are gonna go for Ojo. And they are going to, each of them, 
do their attacks. So let me see. Blame. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go Halo of Spores and then I'm gonna turn you into my immortality fuel. Honestly, if this is what she wants to do and have a fight, yeah, we can just kill them all. Okay. Those first four attacks are against not. The next four are against um no Joe. Only two of the four hit me. Seventeen and twenty six. Uh they hit me. Okay. All four of them hit you? All four. Uh, yeah, all four. Did you some math? Even the ten, dude? Well, there's a ten. Or was that mine? That's yours. Wait, no, that's no, mine. Uh, my is bad. Not, is that not his? Yeah, yeah, I miscounted. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. The, I would say the ten is his. I got the sixteen and everything else that's above twenty. Like, there's 25, 21, and 21. Hold on. It's 21, 25, 16, 10. Oh, wait, that's so the one of them would miss you. Yeah. Wait, one then, of them would miss you. Wait, do you only and have 1, 2, 3, 14, 4, 13, oh. 17, 26. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, okay. One three misses then. One misses then. Three hit. Okay. Um. My bad. No, nah, not your bad. It's just the way it's presenting the thing. I couldn't tell. It's okay. You're doing perfectly fine, Pickle. I prepared for a very certain thing, and you guys didn't do it, so it's fine. Anyway, um, so... Now you're gonna try and kill us. <laughs> Joe, you take 26 points of damage. Um, about half of that's gonna be bludgeoning, and the rest is piercing. Um, for not, you only got the two that hit you, right? Yeah. So that... Or three. Oh, right, with the 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. I take my yeah. damage. <laughs> I don't play D&D &D to do math, man. Anyway. Um... That's why I play D&D. &D. <laughs> Shiny rock go click track. <laughs> Very true. All right. He's like uh, a pro. <laughs> you take 26 points of damage. And, okay. uh, let's see. 16 of that is going to be bludgeoning. Um, the rest is piercing. Okay, let me double check. I don't have... I don't think I have anything that reduces it. I'm not that kind of special. Uh, yeah, only on stuff against poison. Yep, okay, so there's 26 damage. Alright, good news is, not, it's your turn. Oh, cool, so bonus action, I whistle with my, what was it, like 24, 26, whatever the fuck it was. I oh, yeah. whistle it's, it's out like... loud. Um, do I see, like, I know, because I know that, obviously, action, like, I, I, I get that we're in the castle, and that no matter what we do, eventually enough action and sound is going to cause guards to come because who the fuck is going to let a fight go on in their own castle right however <laughs> however i'm hoping that the whistle points out that like someone is calling for help not just like there's a fight going on um with that i'm going to So they they used a like a, a whistle, right? Just to understand. They used a whistle. Uh, right. And you're welcome to. What do a what check to materials? I would love to do a check. Okay. Uh, yeah, do a percent. Because I could destroy the material potentially with one of my spells. Um, seven plus uh, precision. Uh, ten. Just average ten. Nothing special. Nothing great. Baseline is all yeah. hell. From what you can tell, it is just a whistle. Just like metal. Yeah. Wood. Okay. Uh, stone, crystal, or metal have disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. In that case, um, I after I whistled, and it got everyone's attention. I hope. Um, Big Joe, are you okay? I'm. If I misty step onto the tower to get out of their range and then shatter them from uh, above, next turn. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, I should you be. You would be in that range, and you would have to make a con check. So I'm just checking if that's okay with you. Yeah, go for it, dude. Okay. In that case, I'm going to misty step my way out of there, head up to this tower up here so I'm looking down upon them. And I whistle, uh, looking around for guards. Okay. Um... You whistle, and the courtyard, as you can uh, kind of look around, it seems to be pretty empty. You uh, know that there was a lot of people inside the throne room, but there's not really anybody here right now. Oh, fuck. I just realized Misty... St I didn't know that Misty Step itself is a bonus action. I already used my bonus action. Um, Pickle, I uh, guess it's up to you. Can no. I use an action as a bonus action or no cross-contamination? No dice. No cross. No cross? Okay. Then in that yeah. case, I'll use Dimensional Door. Same thing. <laughs> Oh my god. You're like, oh, okay, I just, I just wanted to ask so I could, you know, just do it fucking anyway. Just give me the opportunity to give me what I want. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Dimension Door. <laughs> right. Oh, and actually with Dimension Door, I can, it's actually kind of funny. Um, I can pull, um, I can just pull Old Joe with me. I can put it, hold on, watch, so. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the chat so you can have your your interpretation. So uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, I can just teleport this right there and then have the other one here. Look, first, let me, before I draw my second one, put this in chat so you can read it. Um, so there, there's this, the spell. And then on the map, there's one right next to us. And then if I do the other one up here on the tower, I could walk through, pull old Joe, and then next, um, and then next turn just evaporate the door completely so no one else can follow us through and old joe if you can just hold the door shut they can't come through i can hold the door shut and i can probably kill all of them with one spell cool so in that case um if it's cool with you uh pickle i would like to uh open the door bear hug um uh old joe and just fall backwards into the door popping us up there Yeah, I like it, but you said that the door has to stay open uh, until... It, it does. Like, so it has to stay there, but it's an actual physical door. So it doesn't have to be open and closed. We can't lock it, but if Ojo, when he comes through, closes the door and just stays on it, he can he could technically keep it closed. But that's also up to you, because that's, like, not part of the spell. Yeah, it, it would be, like, a strength check yeah. or something. It just yeah. says that there's a door, so I assume that we can interact with, it like, a normal door, right? Because how it works is like it's a door, and the door opens inside the actual like door frame is the portal. So I guess that's up to you, Pickle, if you th if we can close the door or not. I. Because mm... I do like the idea of us being like, oh shit, oh shit, through the door, and just holding the door like, Mom, don't come in, please. I do. <laughs> What are you doing in there, Timmy? Is just rattling the handle? <laughs> yeah, no, no, like we're on the top of the, the tower. This fucking like we're not jerking off. I swear. <laughs> okay. Um. Who? I'm trying real hard to be creative. I, I'm trying real hard to get our asses out of here right now. Because <laughs> I, I do. I listen. Listen. I love. I love the drip of having like a literal door that you guys can like try to keep closed against the people behind you and all that shit. Um. But I will leave it up to the dice. I'm going to have it be an Arcana check to see if you can manifest this gate to have uh, a literal fucking door that, like, opens and closes as you, like, interact with it. Okay, um... Otherwise, it's just a portal, basically, to walk into one place and the other. Don't I have extra... Hold on. Let me just double-check my note to make sure I don't have any extra bonuses. Uh, oh, I do have a little bit. Okay. Uh, in that case, that is a 17. To grab Old Joe and manipulate the door. You reach out one hand to grab Old Joe by the wrist. You reach out the other and stretch your fingertips and create this glowing magic circle which looks out onto the top of the tower. And suddenly you hear the click of a lock as a door appears over the gate. Just hanging in the air. <sighs> Sweet. And I kick the door open, grab old Joe, and in, in, in his head, I say, 
bitch, we out! And I yeet us through, half throwing us through. And then as he's like, because, you know, he's being pulled, so he has that, like, whiplash of his neck, like, ah! And then the whiplash happens again. As he comes through, he gets shoved back forward into the door as he's told, hold it! <laughs> oh my god! I fucking love it! And you guys, this, uh... Oh, Joe, fucking... would you mind putting yourself up there? <laughs> Here, I will give some assistance. Hang Thank on. you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this uh, tower right here, you guys get up to the top and Oljo's kind of like, the fuck, door! And he, like you're kind of like bracing yourself against it, but you guys uh, look down. Are there any guards realize... up in that tower? You're on the roof. Well, it, it got a natural 20 for it, so I'm liking that. Oh! Alright, natural 20 for a strength check. I like that. Never, who, who needs the guard? Oh, I... that, that was the initiative for the guard, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought you said that you did. I was like, damn, who needs the guard then? <laughs> We need the guard. <laughs> um, okay, so... Is it... Okay, so on the roof. Uh, I just need the guards to start coming then. In that case, I, I right. just... I end it by just saying, hold the door! And I just look at old Joe. Right. Yeah, 15 for the strength check. Uh, 50 feet off the ground. Hmm? You guys are a good, like, 50 feet off the ground. It's not quite, like, a battlement like um, the outside of the courtyard is, but it's, yeah. like, a little mini guardhouse, basically. That's okay. Almost if I'm like... right, Dimension Door can go up to 500 feet, so we're good. All right. So now it's the assassins' turns. <laughs> just keep They're like, Dimension Door where the fuck did they go? <laughs> just, just have, uh, not keep oh, Dimension Door oh. Just disappear 500 feet at a time oh 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 i can cast it up to 500 feet away but i can make the distance traveled up to 200 feet and i didn't realize this i can actually angle the door at a 45 degree angle so we can do some portal shit <laughs> oh my god <gasps> oh my yeah, god please tell me someone's gonna come funny. through the door and i can dissipate the door and slap some in half Oh. I will, like, uh, I will think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Goddamn. Ooh. Okay, sorry. You're, go ahead. Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> well, it's like, I'm loving this shit, but I'm also like, oh, man, I'm really having a... That really threw me for a loop as a DM. As a DM. Goddamn. Uh, fucking cool. You know what? You know what? You know what? Dimension door. Inspiration. Woohoo! Uh, good fucking thing. That, I literally have no idea what to do now. Um, Whew, that's my that's my goal. Hey, yeah, I'm a perma DM. This is what I do. <laughs> I do nothing but yeah, try I to can... figure out ways. Look at what they have to do to imitate a fraction of our power. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! You killed me with that. Oh pickle. Oh pickle. Take DM inspiration. <laughs> I'm laughing. No, at don't give her DM inspiration. Don't do that. All right. So, old Joe. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'll make a grapple rules, but with strength, I suppose. So, this guy that just walked up to the door, he's going to try to break it down, strength against strength. <laughs> All right, I'll Joe, roll me something good, big guy. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> just immediately, that's all I have. Is, that's fucked. That's even more fucked. Yeah, it's only a 12 for me. Old Joe could sit flying backwards. He was not expecting to get yeeted through a door. That's my bad. Oh, yeah, like, you're... Do like, I take damage from was he, was he... No, no. But was he even bracing fully? Or was he just like, huh? Huh? And the door flung open, smack him in the face. Yeah, not... Because you, like... I like to think that sometimes, kind of like, uh, people who are bilingual, they accidentally, like, slip into, like, different languages without meaning to, kind of thing. Like, um... I said it in Undercommon or some shit. Oh, no, you just forgot to message him. Oh. You just, like, as <laughs> I translate it in my head, but I never said it out loud. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Right, so he's just like, what? And so then this dude kicks down the door. Uh, old Joe, you go flying back. Oh, by fuck. Like we're, we're on a roof. Oh, no. Old Joe, you're on a roof. Mm -hmm. And now this guy. Oh, shit. Let me not heat him off the roof just yet. Wait, wait. He if Old Joe's good. up there, that's a slanted roof. Does Old Joe slide? Oh, oh. Uh, stop giving me ideas. <laughs> if I do slide and I get into with range, then it's an opportunity attack and I can attempt to push him off. <laughs> you know what? I will say that for moving, if you want to move on the roof, you have to do a dex check. That's what we'll do. Alright, cool. To make sure you don't move on the roof. That's cool. I can do that. 
All right. So that's one guy. Uh, the other ones. Let me see. Wait, is he is he trying to where he is? Is is he he's right in front of the doorway, right? So no one else, unless they push him out of the way or he moves past us, can actually get past him without doing a dex check and potentially falling off the roof. Yeah, he's kind of like blocking the door with his body because he just oh, walked through. Oh, see, he... bottlenecking. This still works. This still works. We're bottlenecking them. I'm gonna Sparta kick him back through the door. Yes, we got this. Fight me, attack <laughs> me, do it. Stab me, assassin. Oh my god, let me see. Um, hmm. <laughs> I like how every time I mention something, it always ends with Pico going, "Oh fuck." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also like because again, this is why I'm like struggling right now. You guys got onto like a fucking like super tall roof that's 50 feet in the air. Uh, I'm trying to see if these bitches can like grappling hook up to you or something. <laughs> that I would, if I was DM, I would say yes, but it takes like two turns. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's and, what I think is and honestly, at that point, I'm just gonna fucking cut the crap. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then they just fall, which is funny. Well, I'll hold my action until they're 10 feet away so they fall before Wait, the wait, wait, wait. Oh, Joe, it's not cutting. I can just shatter so we hurt the guy above us and cut their grappling hooks and ropes. <laughs> we can do both in one move. We can hurt this guy, break the door, and also do that all in one move. <laughs> so, now that it is the uh, woman's turn, who... I will go ahead and do a little fucking uh, NPC reveal. She pulls down her hood to get a better look at you guys up on the fucking roof. <laughs> we and... look down, squint. <laughs> <laughs> and she. Uh, is that a bitch down there? <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> Not in his head to old Joe. Looks like a bitch down there. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you said, reveals uh... her face. She's still wearing the face cover, she just holds her hair. Nice hair down there! I'm sorry, oh, bitch. Did looks I down. her face or throw back her hood? Shut up! Anyway. <laughs> oh, looks down and like, didn't I have her breakfast something? <laughs> Wait, Joe goes like, what? Huh? No, <laughs> old Joe's an orc. He probably he ate a human not too long ago that looked something similar. <laughs> not just legitimately takes a moment. I imagine him and the assassin look at each other like, did he just seriously say that? <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to killing each other. <laughs> oh no, she has her own door. That's just rude. Oh, I've got a perfect idea. Yeah, she kind of like uh, looks at you both um, with her eyes squinting as she's kind of, you can tell she's sneering at you underneath her little face covering. She's like, thanks for the idea, scum. Copycat! <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, my fucking idea. Anyway. I did so, it first, bitch. She makes her way onto the roof. She is going to move up to you guys, but first, she's going to make a deck save. Imagine, she fucking slips. That would be fucking hilarious. Next oh, one. Next oh. one. Let's see, let's see. Ha! Oh, oh. that's not the best dex, even with... Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. She moves like a good five feet. Oops. Ha! She, so, oh, so she gets down, into. Uh, hold on one second. Attack of opportunity range for both of us. <laughs> oh, I get it within 10 feet. Oh! I think. Uh, do I have. Or is that a different character can use a spell? Because I was going to say, I should just use a spell to wind of gust her off the fucking battlement. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Ah, damn. One more thing, and then it'll be, uh... Old Joe? Turn. Yes. I have to check movement. Okay. Um... Okay, Old Joe, I have this plan. So, I have a second spell slot. Alright, hear me out. Oh, hear me out. We dimension door. <laughs> From here to here... <laughs> And this door ends up disappearing from the concentration check. So these guys are fucked down here. We just deal with these two. How does that sound, old Joe? I think that I think that's a great idea. But don't worry, we're only gonna have to deal with one of them. Oh hell yeah! 
what is this fucking? I look away for two seconds to like move some pieces around, and you guys are fucking battle mapping football schematics on my fucking map. I swear to God. Yeah, delete them if you want, but like we're planning. <laughs> Joe, it's your turn. Do some shit. Do something, bitch. That means if it if, oh, uh, fails to check and feet pushed away. Oh. I get hit by that too, don't I? Which, yeah. Why would you? Because because if you don't have sorcery points, you can't choose who does or who doesn't get affected in your spell area. That's why sorcery points has meta magic with the the specific targets. But it's a fifteen foot cube and. Uh... If I check this, you're not in this cube. Are you just hurting her? Yeah, the one that dimension doored. The other one didn't dimension door. We're just getting rid of her so we can dimension door away. Okay, maybe maybe I'm misunderstanding the the square. Real quick, could you actually clear the the drawings real quick um, for me, uh, Pickle? Thank you. Would you could yeah. we could we explain to me my my six space it to my dumbass? Um, what is five feet on the tower right now? And what would a 10-foot uh, cube on the tower? Like, is it? it's just one of these little things, right? Well, yeah, so that's a uh, five-foot uh, square is what you just drew. Okay, um, okay, cool. Just just double-checking. That I understood. All right, hang on. I got to fucking reset this because you guys doodled everywhere. So, Perfect. Here's there what we're we go. Doing, all right? New door I'm soon. In... Yeah. All right. You got not and that door. And then we got... Uh, the her door, yeah. Yeah. Hey, there. Hey, using the shapes, smart, smart choice. Uh, thank you. And I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, so. So, so this. So we need a con saving throw from the woman that just I mentioned doored up. A con save. Yeah, con save. Okay. Uh, let me see. Spell save DC is sixteen. Wait, hold on. Sorry, am I misunderstanding Dimension Door? Does it not stay? Can I just wait? Is this duration instantaneous? I, I'm actually curious. What do you guys think about that? Because some of them say that, but then they'll bring up stuff that you travel through. Is that just for the turn and then ends after the turn? Because in that case, wouldn't it that, that leave us? No doors, just oh, us, yeah. her, and him up here then? Yeah, yeah basically. Like Perfect. Yeah. Pickle. Um, but so she did a 23 of the con, con save. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So that's going to be 2d8 thunder damage halved. Okay, so in that case, that means there is no more doors. We both teleported up here. It's just her, one perfect. dude, and then us. Okay. Yeah, this Three is points. easier. We can handle this. Alright, and I'll say it up. Okay. And then... Alright, um, now we're at the top of the round. Uh, guys, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I still need to use my bonus action. Ah, uh, my apologies, Monsieur Oljo, mm -hmm. with your bonus action. So, bonus action aggressive. You can move up to your speed towards an enemy of your choice that you can see or hear. What would it take for me to run towards her and tackle her off of this thing? An action. <laughs> uh, Aggression is just movement, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's just a movement, so the movement I'm fine with. Yeah, but, but so... Um, would it be an action to try and push her off, though, Pickle? I'm gonna say no if you're not trying to, like, stay up on the roof. You're just trying to knock you both down. You gotta pass yeah. the deck to though to make sure you don't just slip down the roof and have to, like, uh, So if you wanted to make sure he doesn't fall too... It's an action. But right. if he just wants to go with her, no. Right. Mm. Um, and also, okay. that would promote this guy. That mm. is true. I would just stay there, because if I'm understanding correctly, we don't have, there's no more doors. So no one else can get up and touch us. I say we just fight these people and wait for the guards. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get ready. After this round, they're gone. Appreciate. 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 
All right, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just going to stay there and ready. And I was like, because if you get knocked back down, it's you getting hit by this guy, following with her, and then into a crowd of people. <laughs> I could see Ojo I dying. I, I, I suppose I can... I've got heal... Or healing spirit if we need it. Hey! I can't be healed via magic, I think, because I'm a fucking robot. I think I could heal myself though. That's cool. Oh my god. I'm gonna need that woodworking and the carpenters real quick from that king. We're gonna go we're gonna come back into the party bloodied, like so y'all have fun partying! <laughs> Your Majesty, benefits please! <laughs> yeah, see so you mentioned those benefits, huh? Health insurance! <laughs> Actually, I've got one thing that I can do with my bonus action. Okay. Guardian of Nature. Oh my god! Oh. You tough bastard, I love you. Oh my god, you're so cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna look this up so I can double turning check. Turning into a primal beast form? Uh, wait, doesn't that make you physically grow? <laughs> Would this collapse the roof around? Oh fuck, wait, wait, who? Hang on. Not Hang as on. far as I can see. Oh no, hold on, so are you turning to the great tree or the primal beast? So the primal beast is your size, but if I remember correctly, the great tree becomes heavier because you become a tree. Yeah, the tree becomes heavier, but I'm turning into a beast. Okay, perfect, perfect, that's fine then. That's fine. Okay. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Whew. I was like, oh god, please don't become the tree. Because imagine just like a fucking tree ant apparently pops up on our roof. Tell me that roof isn't gonna fair. fall. To be fair, if a tree pops up out of nowhere on top of a guard cabin, everybody's gonna come running. I think everyone already is running with all the magic going off and yelling currently. Are they? I hope so! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, Pickle, now that he transformed, I would like to say not looks at you, has not seen this before, has a legit moment of, oh, Jesus, fuck! Oh my god, old Joe, I didn't know you could do that. And then, um, old Joe, I'm actually just snarl at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just snarled friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like mittens, he's like, meow, meow. Exactly. Alright, you're to, uh, alright, and now it's a DM soon. <laughs> alright, so. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck am I doing? All right, so that's what I was doing. Okay, so you got your kitty cats. <laughs> I got uh something. You guys look up at um a loud bang from the doors leading from the throne room. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and you see uh a older looking dwarven woman appear. Um. With a very like like concerned expression. Oh, thank God we have a dwarf. Situation. You what? I said, thank God we have a dwarf. They're the best. <laughs> yeah, uh, she kind of looks at you, and she and I wave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she like she kind of like has like a, a moment of like her eyes narrowing. She's like, and she is going to use the rest of her movement because she was dashing to go ahead and stop right there. Oh, hell yeah, our reinforcements. The Calvary's arrived, love! Right. Oh, now God. I hope this dwarf is a wizard or something, because if not, she's just a, like a servant who's going to get her ass kicked. <laughs> Who can say? Who can say? Oh, uh, no. Please don't hurt this poor... It, I, I, I will let not take damage to keep this poor woman safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch, you didn't want to speak to her at the feast, so anyway... <laughs> Speaking is different than safety, okay? I'm, I have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, man. It's easier to take a sword to the throat than to talk to someone, okay? <laughs> Alright. Two of the beasts are going to stay here kind of like circling underneath you guys, waiting for one of you guys to fall. Um, the other two are going to go ahead and start moving up to go greet the newcomers. 
Well, wait, wait, so two of them do what? Sorry, I missed it with the first two do. It's good. Uh, two of them are going to stay under the tower. They're just kind of pacing back just and forth. Just waiting. Kind of oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. They're just waiting for one of you guys to... Fair the other enough. two are going to start making their way to the front of the courtyard. Not. It is your turn. Ah, well, you see. Um, if they were prone, it'd be really easy just to, like, push them off the ledge and have them fall, huh? Yeah, I guess that would be they're really easy if they were roll. fucking prone, but they're not fucking prone, are they? I mean, not yet. Yeah. Did we ever do the opportunity attacks? When they came within five feet? She did, I don't think she came within five feet. I think that's what she clarified with the, the circles, or squares. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I was about to say, I have got lost somewhere along the way. I think we all <laughs> have in the site. It's, it's a little uh, clunky, but we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. Okay. I promise I'm trying to be a fair DM. I'm not trying to cheese you guys and be like, and they run away skipping and frolicking, and you can't hit them at all. Ha, I ha, mean, ha. we're that's what we're doing, to be fair. <laughs> we're skipping and frolicking so they can't hit us. So, like, I don't want to be bitchy when we're really actively doing this thing to you. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> um... Okay, in that case, I will use, um, should I do Everd's Black Tentacles to hit everyone around us, possibly knocking them off? Or should I do Tasha's Hideous Laughter and try to incapacitate him and then just roll him off? <laughs> what do you think, uh, El Joe? Yep, Yo, that's your call. Yep. I do not yeah, have I think that's a good idea. Which uh, one? I, I gave two would... options. <laughs> <laughs> I I was listening to both of them, but then I something distracted me. So I think the best thing is just push him off as quickly and easily as possible. Preferably with a sharp pointy stick at the end. <laughs> oh, hold on. Everett's Black Tentacle. Okay, this is up to you, um, Pickle. So technically, Everett's Black Tentacle grabs and restrains them, dealing up to 66 um, bludgeoning damage. Um, on their turn. So I do 36 initially and then 36 on their turn. Could I instead cop the restraining and just have it push them, deal the damage and push them off? Pass me the spell description, you son of a bitch. If you want me to do shit that, that is not just the spell description, All right. I'll do an interpretive thing. I already got the door. All right? <laughs> you got a whole ass door on that dimension door. <laughs> you got a whole ass door. That was supposed to be just portal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I love creative use of spells and shit like that. I just don't want to, like, have it be something that's like, oh, it's clearly not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah, I know, no. Of course, of course. Oh, but it's a tentacle! It oh, is large fuck. tentacles coming out, yeah. It's basically Cthulhu monsters. Oh, I forgot. It's up to, a, up to a minute, too. So I keep it out for the minute. So I basically cover everywhere we're at sorry go ahead <laughs> no it's good um if you're trying to knock people off um i'm going to say that like you can't like it would it would affect everybody in this area right because that's what the could, yeah uh, it could potentially is. hit old joe right so everyone would have to do a deck save okay um, which you could potentially send old joe into the piranhas pit shit okay never mind <laughs> but you know like it would be so good if i could like even if you didn't let me push them even restraining them because now we just captured this bbeg tie her up restrain her knock her ass out you know i mean uh, you're welcome to still try to have them restrained but it's still gonna affect um everyone in that uh 20 yeah. damn uh... Yeah. question pickle yeah. if i cast something that just usually erupts the earth. Does that mean that they're going to fall through the roof? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not revealing shit. Oh my god, if I use shatter, the roof is made of stone and clay. I could break the roof below us. Could you? Yeah. Shatter, um... So, a loud ringing noise painfully erupts from the point of your range within uh, range. Each creature in 10-foot radius... Uh, must be a constitution save or take 3d8 thunder damage or half as much on a successful. A creature made of organic metal such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the saves. A non-magical object that isn't worn or carried uh, also takes damage if it's in the spell's area. And I doubt the roof is being worn or carried. 
No, true. So in that case, I center the the ten foot radius right on her, right where she is. So it's like um, around her right here. Just this whole everywhere, every five foot cube around her and on her. Um, I'm a shatter, and then if uh, I guess if I roll enough damage, I I can try to shatter the roof. So I will cast Shatter at. Oh. Let me upcast. I forgot my Warlock. I can upcast at the fourth level. Alright, old Joe. Let's hope. Pray for good damage. Pray for good damage. Pray for good damage. I want to see you praying to whatever god you don't believe in. <laughs> okay. Plus my stuff. Um, That's a natural 20 on the religion prayer. 29 damage to her and the roof as I clap my hands, shattering around her. It's a con save, though, right? Yes, yeah, so go ahead and do a con save. So the roof itself takes 29 damage. Go to make the con save. Right, she gets advantage? Ooh. No, it just it does that automatically. That's my bad. Oh. The, all, the, all the character sheets just fucking do um, Really? It just does advantage, uh, advantage automatically? Oh. Yeah, yeah so whenever I need a that's awkward. I know, yeah, you have so to manually set it. it. Do the first roll. Ah, that's weird. Okay. That's valid. Uh, then she'll take half as much, so she will take, I said 29, so 14 damage. But the okay. roof itself takes the full almost 30 points. Alright. Yeah. So, much like the Hulk clap, um, not just winds his hands up and you see him wind them up really quickly as a little tornado ramps around his hands and he slams them down as the shatter of uh eviscerates or ripples through the air slamming into her and the roof about her very nice yeah and as you slam it down all of you kind of like feel like yourself like stagger a bit as the entire roof cracks with a large resounding but it still stands. It is not done yet. Hmm. Valid. Then in that case, for my bonus action, um... Do I have anything good for a bonus action? <laughs> I flip her off. Um... And then... I turned to old Joe and just nod my head. I did what I could. All right, their turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now it's the uh, assassin's turn. Let me see what he's going to do. Oh, I forgot he's there too. He's not really concerned since the big bitch is right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're like, <laughs> you're cannon fodder. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Shut up. You're just an NPC. <laughs> All right. So he is going to do two attacks on Old Joe, and they are going to be with advantage for a very specific reason. Oh, if it happens to be flanking, she's definitely not close enough for that. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing neither of those uh, hit jo Old Joe. Honestly, oh, Joe's just kind of a tank. On oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention, he's now even more primal. Oh, yeah, he's currently angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. All right, Hulk. <laughs> All right. In that case... Uh, uh, is it rude that... to laugh at the enemy? I don't care. Oh, I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god, old Joe, what you just showed me. The first one, the first one, the first one, the first one. Yes, 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 yes. What the fuck? Where are they going? Hang on. Don't worry about it. Oh, they're grappler hooking. That's okay. No, the spell's fine. The spell will literally... If we destroy the roof, we destroy them. They can't grapple hook onto nothing. Ha! Ha! Yeah, so one of them, he tries to throw his grappling hook, and it just bounces off the side of the roof because it's completely shifted. 
And so it has a Did different, you mean like, to do hexagon. D10s or D20s, by the way? Um, I looked it up and it, uh, I'm doing it to do a, just a normal, well. Because I've never, I personally never have heard of using a D10 to see if they, they hit. But if you want to do it, that's all, all, all <laughs> your choice. I was just double checking <laughs> if you meant to do that. I'll do D20s because I was trying to look up to see if there were specific rules and I saw a thing that said D10. Uh, I think that's kind of dumb. So we're going to do this. All right. So pretty so, much the same outcome, but not on that one, <laughs> on one of them. Right. So they both kind of throw their grappling hooks, and the one that did the uh, D10, I'm going to say this guy, he doesn't make it. It bounces off and falls back to the ground. Yeah. This guy. Nerd. He is able to swing it up, though, and have it just latch, and so he's going to use his 30 feet of movement to get halfway up the wall. Cool, cool, cool. If I remember correctly, the climb movement is exactly half, right? So isn't it only ah, 15 feet up? My apologies. Yeah. I always forget that climb's different. Yeah, so he only goes up 15 feet. But he's making his way. Make his way downtown. And next turn, he's a dash, so he gets to go full 30. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, but that means he's still 5 feet away from being up <laughs> top. We he, can he, he just still looks up there like, God damn it, I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this guy's gonna uh he's gonna ready an action to where if um he sees you guys come down, he's gonna uh try to crossbow you. This guy right here, just to clarify, down there? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Now it is her turn. Alright. I can't believe that I asked for help from the guards and all we get is a dwarf. I hope that dwarf is like literally a king. Or queen. Bitch, you don't know anything. It's round fucking two. They're coming from the throne room. <laughs> yeah, by the time they get there, they're gonna have one less roof. They're gonna have one less. They took too long. We, we needed a roof. <laughs> I told, you told them we should build guard towers, they didn't listen. Yeah, and now I'm taking down their guard towers. <laughs> oh my goodness. What does she do, Pickle? Bitch, I'm thinking! Wait! <laughs> Swear to God! All right. She is going to. Ba, 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 ba. She gives up. She puts her hands out. Says, "Handcuff me. I'm sexually attracted to you, old Joe. Would you marry me?" He rejects her, kicks her off, Mufasa style. Says, "Long live <laughs> old Joe." <laughs> you big sexy thing. You big sexy hunk of werebeast right now. All right. She is going to cast blight. Oh, what the fuck? At, at sixth level. That's just rude. Luckily, thanks to my little uh, guardian of nature, I now have advantage. So do I, actually, because I'm a... I actually take half the damage, too. Yeah, and she's casting it against you, old Joe. Oh, that'd be perfect. Either one. I think we, we, we're both resistant to it, actually, I think. Does this... Okay, hold on. This, this would count as either a poison or a, a magical disease, right? Uh, blight? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, shit. I wouldn't count as a non-magical plant, I guess, because I am magical. But holy shit, that scared me for a second. <laughs> yeah, that's a 19. Oh. Okay. Hold on. That it all 20 fucked it up. Oh no, you're right. It's 16. I'll just do it manually. That's just easier. Yeah, just do it on your character sheet a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a 16. Okay. 
And so I'll go ahead and do the damage roll, and then you only take half, a little bit less than half, I think, because resistance, right? That's oh, yeah, so if you succeed, so yeah, technically, uh, how does that work? I guess as, uh, how I do is that they take a quarter. Do you do a quarter or, like, no damage? Because I've heard some DMs do no damage. Mm, I'll do a quarter because I don't want to treat it the same as invulnerability. Exactly, but, um... exactly. Okay, smart, 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 smart. Right. Perfect. That but, means that I can use my reaction to cast, well, not, not cast, but uh, Fungal Infestation. <laughs> she casts oh. Blight and you cast Fungal Infestation back. Uh, sorry, not Fungal Infestation, it's Halo of Spores. So 1d6 necrotic damage. Oh, very nice. Is there a save? Yes, it's also a con save and it's also DC 16. Okay, oh. Oh, the irony. All right. Not really irony. I don't know. My brain was just like, oh, interesting. Patterns mm. go burp. Anyway. Let's see. So she got a 21 con save. Yeah, so she only takes one point. But that means her concentration is gone. If she doesn't make a save. She has to make a save. That's all. Okay. What concentration? I thought, wait, did she have a concentration spell out? No, uh, like, uh, it's, it's already faded away. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But so you take, uh, you take half of the thirty. Half of 30, the half. Half of the half, exactly. Thirty-six. That's thirteen. So I take six points of damage, out of thirty-seven. <laughs> Pickle, yeah. I'm so <laughs> sorry. You haven't seen us in a while, and then we come back and we just absolutely fuck over your fight. <laughs> Like, you're like, okay, I got them. Blight, 6th level. Okay, I take 6 points of damage. God damn it! I can only imagine as a DM. I can only imagine. As a DM, I do not win when you guys die or whatever. I lose because that sucks and that we have to stop the story and shit. <laughs> However, Maybe, I do win but you when still... I shoot yourselves. So yeah, but you will still character. feel bad if you're all 10 d 8 and you only end up doing 6 points of damage. I mean, that's literally <laughs> less than the minimum. My favorite thing as a DM is to be surprised. So I was all like, So oh, you I must be loving it. this session. Oh man, this is <laughs> wild as shit. You guys are like, I'm getting on the roof and I'm like, oh fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, she, you're like, okay, she's on the roof too. We destroy the roof below her and only her. God damn it, guys. <laughs> it's exactly that. Like, on the one hand, of course, yes, I've planned things a certain way and I have to go on the fly and da da da. Who cares? I'm having a great time being like, shit, what do I do? What do I do? I'm god of this game, and I'm scrambling. It's awesome. Does, does that mean it's old Joe's turn? It is, and I think he gets to destroy the roof now. Yeah, destroy eruption. Destroy the <laughs> roof. Destroy the <laughs> roof. Destroy the roof. Come on, ready, Joe? Destroy the roof! Destroy the roof! This is... Oh my god, I'm gonna pee myself. This is amazing. Yeah, so... Okay, okay. <laughs> 3D12 bludgeoning! 3D12 bludgeoning! I literally am, like, forgetting to actually read what the save is because I keep getting so excited that, like, this is happening. So, hang on, okay. Uh, so, uh I guess it's a he's, gotta saving save. Throw. he's gotta save. Does not have to save. It, it's actually, she has to do two deck saving throws. One to miss the damage, and then one to not fall into the 20-foot cubic hole oh. in the ground. Oh, wait. wait it's a 20-foot 20, 20 cube? That, so that's guaranteed to destroy the tower beneath us. Yeah, it destroys most of the tower from her onwards. Wait, We're just gonna have a and little that will hit me too. Oh. No, it won't. At 20 feet? Where she is, oh, no. that hits both of us, I think. Cracked. The entire tower is cracked from his um, shatter thing earlier. True, but yeah, let me yeah. just get onto the right one and let me get my little ruler since I'm specifically 10, targeting her. 15, yeah, if it's right it's on going, her, we're 10 feet it's away. Going, yeah, it's so that will hurt go. all of us on the roof. No, it's it's literally it's starting in front of me, the cube, so it's like it's this. just missing me. It's, it's like, like five this. feet in front of me. Yeah, it's five feet in front of me. Oh, so it's, it starts like from here, it goes out this way. Yeah, so it's oh, and then, okay. and so it's not like it's centered it's here and it starts right, like that kind of thing. It's whole like right hand portion. I'm destroying the whole right hand portion of the, the roof. Oh, okay, I understand now. 
Okay, cool, yeah, no, we're fine then. Yeah, go fuck your uh, BBG. <laughs> so you're trying to destroy just this portion of the roof, right? This yeah, portion. so it's it's the right hand portion of the roof, basically everything from halfway, basically onwards. Goodbye. Okay. I let's see. I'll let you do. Uh, we'll do the uh, attack and all that shit, and it'll make a hole likely guaranteed no matter what in that area. But I'll make you do an Arcana check to see if it extends to making the entire roof collapse. And if you like that video and like to see more content, please drop a like and subscribe to Wolf for Twenty Eight or. So give us a follow and a rating on both Spotify and iTunes as Bardic Logs. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you next time.